Hi, Cat's Cradle here. This is a seed saving video and it's specifically about saving okra seed. But please don't turn off the video just because you don't like okra because there will be some important general information I discuss at the end of this video. Okra plants are very beautiful and these grew very big. Mine bush out rather than growing uh, straight up like a tree. And they provided so much shade that my cat would often go to the front yard and lie down in the shade of the leaves. <coughs> now here is a picture of what it looks like when they're about to set blossoms. You see all those little tiny spikes at the top. Those will become blossoms that will then become okra. So as the blossoms begin to mature, they uh, elongate and look like this. That's one uh, a shot of an okra that will open the subsequent day. And here's a shot of what they uh, look like as they begin to open. That one's kind of hidden a little bit behind uh, a branch, but here's a little better shot of one. They're beautiful. These are a pale yellow and they are on very sturdy little uh, <coughs> little stems. And here's what they look like. They only last a day and as they begin to die this is what they look like. Now after the first night of frost this is what my blossoms look like. They were a little burned on the edges. That's how come they look a little brown. And here's a better shot showing you how they kind of are burned around the edge. See the throats are that deep burgundy. Okra is related to the hibiscus, so the blossoms are spectacular. That's the reason I felt comfortable planting them in the front yard. There's another one. This is when I know when I knew my okra was done. I was going to have to pull it up. And here's what it looks like after the blossom falls off as the little bitty okra begins to form. And here's how they start out. And okra grows very quickly. So once you see that it looks, uh, that it's at this stage, you really need to be checking it every day. Okra uh, in the height of the summer needs to be picked every day. If it starts to cool off just a little bit, then you can pick it every other day. It's very, very fast growing. In fact, even okra seeds grow very quickly so once you plant them in the ground it's not but uh, you know just a week or so before you see them start coming up and you'll be amazed at how quickly they grow I made you a video showing how I collected the seed from okra but for some reason I absolutely cannot get it to load so I'm just gonna have to tell you what I did I I grew this okra specifically for seeds so but if you're not doing that if you're harvesting and gonna save some too uh, I mean, if you're eating some and saving seed, what you need to do is you need to mark those plants that you're going to save for seed or, you know, the tomato or the okra or the pepper, whatever you're, you're growing out to save the seed from. Sometimes uh, I tie a piece of yarn around uh, a fruit that I'm saving or you can even plant the tip of it. You can paint the tip of the okra with some liquid paper so that other members of your family know not to pick that one that you're growing it out for seed. Anyway, I grew some pods out that were uh, seven to eight inches long. I brought them in. I cut them open. I don't like to let uh, okra seed dry naturally because it has such a tendency to mildew. So I cut it right open and with my thumb I pushed uh, the seed out onto some newspaper and let it dry. Here is the seed, uh, part of the okra seed. This is the seed I'm going to feed to the chickens. I'm not saving this part because they were not the best seeds and it is always my plan to save the best seeds not any that I consider to be inferior because then I can do what uh, the farmers who who grow beautiful crops and have been in business for a very long time do they save only the best seed and that way they can create a better crop uh, in the next generation than they had this year so here are the seeds I decided to save and you can see it's very few by comparison to those I'm getting rid of and I actually counted these for you so that you would know uh, I planted originally five seeds this year and grew out my okra plants and then now I'm saving 85 seeds so that's a pretty good return on the five seeds I planted I'll show them to you here side by side so you can see just exactly how many I'm getting rid of but I want to have a better crop than I did uh, this year and this is how I can ensure that my subsequent crops get better and better. Um, so I encourage you to do that too. Don't save seed that you consider to be uh, inferior. Uh, you can 
create a better crop every year by being selective in what you keep. Now if times were hard and uh, there was no place for me to buy seed or get seed, I'd probably save everything. I would still cull and plant the best first, but then I would always save the other for, for backup and I'd mark it as such. Usually I have these nice little brown envelopes that I put my seed in, but uh, I'm out of those right now, so I just took a white envelope and I labeled it okra at the top. You always put whatever uh, the vegetable or fruit is at the top and then the variety underneath. So my variety is Clemson spineless and usually I wouldn't put the number of seeds in there but since I counted them from you I thought I'd just put it on my envelope as well. So there's 85 Clemson spineless seeds in that envelope and then I mark it with the year that it was harvested 2012. So I'll look very forward next year to having some beautiful okra uh, it's very satisfying to save your own seed and to see it come up out of the ground the next year. I hope you'll practice it and uh, practice saving seed and saving the best seed and watch how you can grow some uh, beautiful vegetables the following year. If you have any questions, uh, you can just send me a PM or leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and until next time, it's Cat's Cradle.